The Prime Minister began the process today of preparing the public for more asylum seekers, as you're now talking about, living in the community. Why was it necessary to say, don't blame these people who come here on boats? Why was it necessary to make that point so clearly? Well, I think the Prime Minister was just making the point that these are difficult circumstances. Uh, we, we have strong views about people smuggling. We have strong views about border protection. But what we don't do, what this government has never done, is demonise individual asylum seekers. But do you we fear, but, but here's, here's the point, do you, do you fear a community backlash no, as more no. and more people come into the community? No, I don't think you can read that into the Prime Minister's comments at all, Tony, with respect. I think what the Prime Minister was doing was making the point that we have policies which very clearly some people regard as too tough. Uh, we have policies which some people would say um, are too focused on border protection. Some people would say that. Uh, but what we are saying is that let's just remember, in this debate, let's keep a level of discourse about it because it can be a very sensitive debate and let's not see anybody in the political discourse uh, blame asylum seekers or demonise individuals uh, and that she has uh, made the, correctly the point that this is a, a community discussion which needs to be regarded with the appropriate level of dignity and respect. But she's changed uh, the discussion, hasn't she? Because uh, earlier this year and for a lot of this year she's been repeating the phrase over and over again that people should be sent, these people, boat people, should be sent back to the back of the queue. She's effectively saying they're queue jumpers. Well, no, what she said is that there are 43 million displaced people in the world. Australia can't take everybody. Uh, we do. But what is the no, no, well, well, no, that's not correct with respect. She's been saying we'll send people back to the back of the queue. I mean, the well, obvious she, implication is they're queue jumpers. They've jumped to the front of the queue. According to the well, Prime Minister, now she's turning down that rhetoric no, no, and changing it and saying don't, don't, don't think of these people as queue jumpers. Isn't that right? No, no, no. With respect, Tony, the Prime Minister was describing the Malaysia arrangement, which delivered on the uh, on the objective of saying to people, "Don't get on the dangerous boat journey to Australia because you won't get anything out of it. You'll be returned to Malaysia." You'll be returned where, to the around... back of the queue. Well, if I if I could her. make my point, if I could make my point, Tony, you'll be returned to Malaysia, where 90% of people begin their boat journey to Australia and be considered with the other 92,000 asylum seekers and refugees living in Malaysia. No, I, appreci I appreciate that, that you've been putting making. it in those terms. The Prime Minister has used the term Q. So can you say now, right now, these people are not Q jumpers? Well, people who arrive in Australia are claiming asylum. Now, we take the view very strongly, and I don't resolve from it for a second, that we need a more orderly process and that there are people who arrive in Australia through that mechanism who, and that means less people are resettled in Australia from uh, refugee camps around the world. And we are, were unapologetic and remain un unapologetic for the view that if we had a more orderly process, if Australia worked with the UNHCR to choose people in difficult circumstances and prioritise people and bring them to Australia, that was a better outcome. We could see Australia increase its uh, refugee... OK, but it was actually a very simple question. Uh, and, can and you say now... These people who are going to be living in the community are not queue jumpers. Well, Tony, I'm going to stick to the uh, same language that I've used consistently, uh, and that is to say... So you, won't, you, won't say, you won't say they're not queue jumpers? Well, people who arrive in Australia by boat, um, in, in, in the current circumstances, that means uh, that people smugglers uh, have, have taken the opportunity to bring them to Australia. I would prefer that the UNHCR brings them to Australia with our cooperation. Oh.